Hey guys, uh, you may be able to hear it every once in a while. Um, on the other, there you go. On the other side of this wall, uh, I have the uh, Tormach uh, cutting some parts. Um, it's about to part off, which is probably the loudest part of the job. Um, anyway, so I'll, the job it's cutting is the 500 part job um, that we're that we're doing in this video. This video is about. Um, this is our biggest. Um, single part order I guess uh, we've had so far um, the part we're doing we've done a couple of times before um, I think one might have been around 100 one might have been around maybe 200 maybe not even that many um, <clears throat> but now we've got a 500 part order um, they're pretty simple they're just uh, one inch long spacers with uh, you know a three eighth inch hole uh, through them uh, really simple specs aren't too precise but we're keeping them within a thou mostly half a thou um, so um, but yeah the, the specs are you know could be off plus or minus five I believe on these parts are just little spacers anyway um, so so I'll talk more so it, I want to touch base a little bit on what's going on around here I did in another video where I did a little aerial uh, video of um, of our new shop and um, I wanted to go ahead and talk about a little bit about that right now we're, we're gonna uh, we're, well I'm just gonna touch base on it um, we're getting a new building we're, we're getting a um, a new slant lathe we are getting well not new that that's actually used and we are getting a brand new Haas um, <clears throat> VF2 uh, super speed um, I'll talk about those in their in another video um, I just wanted to touch base a little bit on on that. So we have a new building coming. We have uh, some new machines coming in. Um, you know, things have been going really well for us. Um, it's been almost a year. Um, I want to do a video on our tour mock. Um, you know, what, how I feel about it. It's been uh, long enough for me to feel like I've know the ins and outs of the machine and the problems, the good things, the bad things, uh, enough to give you an honest review. I don't get paid by anybody to do anything, um, especially Tormach. Uh, so, so you'll be getting an honest review about, about the machine uh, shortly. Um, I am asking for help here because I don't really know where I'm going with the videos. I get very little feedback um, other than a a thumb is down the other day. I, I, I don't know. I need help as to what you guys want to see, what direction I should go in. Um, you know, I just I just don't know what, what you guys want to see. So if any comments or suggestions, um, you know, going to be trying to put out what I think you guys want to see. I'm going to try to be in the videos a little bit more uh, when I can. Um, usually... Um, if you can help me out, great. Sorry about the long intro. Um, you know, I hope you enjoy the parts. Okay, guys, here, here's all the ops for the job. We're going to face it, chamfer it, center drill it, drill it, uh, face it again to take off the little burr that the uh, chamfer creates. We are going to then um, chamfer the hole and part the job off and then bar pull it. Okay, so we're going to go face this per relatively slow. I'm doing 400 surface feet per minute um, on the roughing and uh, 2,000 per rev. The reason is is because when the bar puller pulls the bar, um, two things. One, it's not doesn't pull it exactly to the same location every time. So, um, And two, you have to, well, I have to face off the part of the hole uh, where it's been drilled through before so that the center drill has a nice, good starting point. Uh, <clears throat> so we pull it out and face it off uh, there and we face off quite a bit of material um, it can be it's usually over 50 thou um, basically depth of cut um, that it's trying to take facing off the next stop is to just chamfer it I just left the same beats and speeds um, there center drill this is what I always use to center drill 2000 per rev uh, R 700 RPMs uh, I usually go uh, 250 thou deep um, that's that's pretty much it uh, the drilling uh, I'm taking this kind of slow as well um, we've got 
a lot of parts to make and I want to try to get as many parts as I can uh, out of my tools. Um, so I've got, we've, I can tell you already, I've gotten 200 parts done. We've gone through one, uh, one drill bit it's done. We, we're started on the second drill bit. I've started, started on my second insert for the, um, the actual uh, facing tool that um, ha, you know has three sides so we've gone through three sides we're on the second insert and uh, we're on the second parting insert so overall pretty good 100 uh, over 100 parts on the uh, the parting insert and you know quite a, quite a few on each uh, basically a hundred on each insert um, so anyway so I'm going slow to save my tools basically okay so uh, we come back and face. This is the facing op. Always just face back to zero. That's always my starting place. This just cleans up the little burr that the chamfer creates. Uh, no, nothing specific. Very important right there. Um, I come back in and just clean up the hole uh, for uh, the center hole using um, basically a 45 degree chamfer. What I do is I bring it up to where where it touches, and then I then I tell it how deep I want it to go. So here I have it set for 10,000. So I bring it up till the part touches tell it to do 10 thou and it basically just breaks that sharp edge and clears the hole out from uh, the facing up and the drilling and all of that um, then we part we're parted off um, I'm parting also pretty slow here because I want to not have to sit and babysit the machine so much um, again like I said I've gone through quite a few parts using this uh, using this uh, recipe so I think we're I think I'm pretty happy with that there so all right, this is the last thing I wanted to add to this video. If you look, uh, yeah, don't look at that. Um, but I've got a, it's just a Nest camera um, pointing down into my machine. I use it mainly for the audio. Although I can, um, although I can see the video, um, I listen for the parting tool and you know just to make sure everything is running running right so this allows me with the camera I can actually go inside work on videos do you know be on the other side of the shop and not have to worry so much about um, you know this thing destroying itself breaking uh, the biggest concern I have is breaking a parting insert and then just keeping trying to part uh, jamming in and um, actually I'll show you what happens there uh, this is what happens when your parting insert breaks off and you're not around to catch it. Uh, basically it just kept running into a stainless steel part and destroyed the uh, tool. Not such a big deal, just a tool, but you know, we don't want, we don't want to have these kind of issues. Uh, I'm working on a way to shut the machine off remotely. Um, if I get that worked out, I'll, uh, I'll be posting videos of that and stuff. Uh, but anyway, thanks guys.